begin by saying thank you to the Economic Times and the Futurescape teams for hosting this event and for recognizing Cisco as one of India's top companies in sustainability and CSR. It's quite exciting that we've been recognized for this because about 12 months ago, uh, we evolved the purpose of our company uh, globally. Our purpose statement now reads, power and inclusive future for all. Through both our technology and what that can make possible through our corporate social responsibility initiatives. Before I get into the details of our purpose and commitment to building an inclusive future, I'd also like to congratulate our fellow winners for their passion and commitment to driving sustainability within their organizations. It's encouraging and exciting to see industry leaders coming together to talk about how we can make our world more sustainable and inclusive together. When I got to know about this award, it actually got me thinking, what makes a good company good at something? And in my view, there are three things. First is, of course, the people. Best companies have the best people. Now, this sounds simple, but this is probably the toughest part and needs attention daily. Most people think this is about finding great talent, recruiting them. It's not. It's actually about creating a culture of trust where employees are confident that they will be treated with fairness, respect, and honesty. It's about allowing employees to make mistakes, figure things out, get good at things, and solve problems without breaking their spirit to drive. And it's about rewarding and celebrating successes while encouraging employees to stretch their skills and their capabilities and make an impact both inside and outside the company. After people, of course, comes the product. The second is the product. Best companies have employees who take pride in what is produced, created, serviced, or designed. This is the area that is continuously changing and in motion. That's why this requires everyone to be on board, to be united, to work together as one to produce an excellent product, provide a valuable service, or create something so great and of so, so much value. Great companies know that challenging work is the best motivator for employees. And last, and probably most importantly, is purpose. Great companies believe what's right for the society and the planet is good for the business. They understand the importance of balancing profit and purpose. They focus on the issues that align with their business strategy and where they can have the greatest potential for global impact. At Cisco, uh, we are setting new standards and bringing it all together. People, products, purpose. Right from the top, from the company's leadership to every employee, there is a conscious and consistent effort to collectively come together to shape the company culture, extend opportunities for all and make an impact. And that's what makes us what we are. Leveraging technology to affect real change for the welfare of our communities and the planet is who we are as a company. And for me personally and professionally, these values are very close to my heart. It makes me incredibly proud that our work is making a difference where it matters the most. If you look at Cisco's history for the last 35 years, Cisco has defined innovation, reimagined connections, pushed the limits of what's possible. You know, we, we helped build the internet and the internet changed everything. Now, anything and anyone can be connected, creating infinite possibilities for creative collaboration, smart cities, education, healthcare, and so much more. In these last few years, we've seen technology do amazing things, transform experiences, and improve the lives of millions. But even with this progress and prosperity, 
we still have many, many pressing challenges. Challenges around the environment, economic inequality, health, education, and so on. At Cisco, we believe that these challenges can be solved or at least managed effectively. We see opportunities for our innovation, expertise, and culture to play a role in finding solutions to some of society's biggest challenges. We see incredible power in collaborating with passionate people, governments, community organizations, peers, startups, and sharing our technology and expertise with those who need it the most and make a meaningful and lasting impact. We see our own culture transforming, driving diversity, inclusion throughout an entire organization and implementing sustainable business practices to reduce our environmental impact. We see our employees leading this from the front and our leaders encouraging their passion for doing good in the world. Cisco has a long understood that social responsibility and sustainability must be integrated into our overall business strategy and that there is a clear connection between a healthy business and a healthy community. For the last 25 years that Cisco has been in India, sustainability and inclusion have been at the heart of everything we do and not as an afterthought. Personally, actually, what amazes me is how Cisco puts people, technology, resources to work so effortlessly to make this huge impact. And, and, and speaking of impact, we had set a target in 2019 to positively impact the lives of 50 million, five crore Indians by 2025. And as of April 2020, 21 million lives have already been positively impacted across various spheres like education, jobs, sustainability, digitization, etc. So I think we can up this target going forward. And specifically around sustainability, uh, we have this massive 3 million square feet campus which houses around 11,000 people um, and the largest presence for Cisco outside of San Jose headquarters. It is entirely powered or primarily powered by renewable resources. 80% of the power is derived from sustainable and renewable resources. 85% of our workforce also has the option of work from home. And this is even before COVID, which actually allowed us to consolidate real estate and reduce our carbon footprint significantly. In the same vein, we are now enabling many of our customers to keep their workforces at least partly remote even after the crisis. We've shared our processes, our learnings with several customers, several partners, many of whom are moving to remote working. And you know what, when this happens at large scale, this distributed workforce and workplace, mm -hmm. this will eventually lead to balanced economic growth across the nation and cut down the burden on our cities, making them a lot more livable and sustainable. Additionally, uh, within Cisco, we've set several targets for ourselves to reduce our impact on the environment. So 80% of Cisco component manufacturing and logistics suppliers by spend will have a public absolute GHG emissions target by FY25 and 70% will achieve a zero waste diversion rate at one or more sites by then. With FY19 as the base year, we aim to reduce Cisco supply chain related scope, three GHG emissions by 30% in absolute terms by FY30. Decrease the use of virgin plastics by 20% and reduce all foam used in product packaging by 75% measured by weight by FY25. We're also working towards uh, increasing product packaging efficiency by 50% as measured by package volume per weight of product and design all new products using circular design principles by FY25. 
All of this is just the beginning of our long-term plans to create a better, greener future for India. Now, like I mentioned earlier, Cisco's purpose is to power an inclusive future for all. But given the scale and nature of the challenges we are facing, leadership is more critical than ever. And in the last few months, we've seen how leaders across the globe have risen to the occasion, taken bold decisions to safeguard the lives and mitigate long-term damage. The Indian government, for instance, uh, turned its workforces remote, uh, enabling virtual access to citizen services, information and resources almost overnight. By no means an easy task uh, for a country of 1.3 billion people. So it's all about responsible leadership. And as, of, as all of you here today are displaying, this is essential for change. It has to start from the top because only when leaders who have the authority and the resources stand firm for something good, that great things happen. We are at a critical moment in history and so much is within our ability to shape it. As businesses, we have an opportunity to do way, way more for the world than we thought possible. I believe we can use this opportunity to come together and achieve what we know is possible. Possibilities are the real hope for society. And I cannot wait to see what we will achieve together. Thank you and stay safe.